1637 massacre of the Pequo tribe. English and Dutch pilgrims surrounded and shot the Pequo natives. Women and children who huddled inside the longhouse were burnt alive. The rotting flesh could be smelled a mile away. John Winthrop, the governor of the Massachusetts Bay Colony declared a day of thanksgiving after the slaughter. The remaining women and children were sold into slavery while the rest were murdered. Following a successful raid against the Pequo, the churches announced a second day of thanksgiving to celebrate victory over the Indian savages. Next Thanksgiving, when you gather with your loved ones to thank God for all your blessings, think about the thousands of natives that were murdered on these national holidays. Truth is... Alright, Shalom. I'm your brother Yeramya from the branch of GMS, South Carolina Midlands. And before we start off, all praise, honor, and glory belongs to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach and who rule well. And Shalom to you, hopeful elect, scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. To you I say Shalom. Or Shabbat Shalom. It'll be the Sabbath by the time this video is uploaded. Uh, but nonetheless, just a quick and transit video, just dealing with the whole uh, wicked holiday, you know, as they call it here in America. You know, Thanksgiving. All right. But, you know, we here at Great Millstone. You know, we call it Thanksgiving, all right, because that's what it is, all right, it's in, it's in celebration of the the slaughter, you know, of our Northern Kingdom brothers, you know, of Gad, you know, Gad mainly, you know, Gad and Reuben, all right, and then, you know, you have the, the other Northern Kingdom tribes over here in the Americas, which this devil has slaughtered as well, all right. And, you know, Esau Edom, you know, the so-called white man, you know, he's going to have to pay for that, man. Okay. You know, his judgment is coming very soon. All right. And very near. All right. When the Lord Yahweh Shai gets here, man. Okay. You know, for all the, you know, the, the, the blood, the sweat and the tears of the Israelites. All right. Which consists of your so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans and Seminole Indians of today. All right. Yahweh by Shem Shai is going to repay this devil. Okay. He is not getting away scot-free. You know, and this devil, you know, in his pride, you know, he has the audacity to make it a holiday, you know, to make it in celebration, you know, to put you in, uh, you know, an annual remembrance of what he did to you, man. You know, just pretty much laughing and you know in your face. You know, it's like a slap in the face. Okay. You know, for this devil also to to come behind, you know, this wicked so-called holiday. There ain't nothing, you know, holy about this day. All right. You know, and, and give, you know, our Northern Kingdom brothers. Uh, I believe it's called National Indigenous Heritage Day. You know, pretty much acknowledging them. All right, that's, a, that's another slap in the face. Just, just like, you know, this devil will turn around and, you know, give Jake, all right, the Southern Kingdom, so-called blacks, all right, you know, give them a, a month, you know, so-called Black History Month, all right, or give them a day, you know, uh, Juneteenth. And it so happens to fall on the month of Pride Month, dealing with the, the alphabet gang. You know, this devil just doing up but, but making mockery, you know, in the face of the Lord's people. Okay? But the Lord sees it all, and the Lord is keeping account of it all. And the Lord, you know, is allowing this devil to run up a tally. You know, all the bloodshed that this devil has shed, hey, this devil is just running up a tally. To where when the Lord brings down this great destruction of, of thermonuclear fire on this place okay and fire by the chariots it's gonna be greatly justified man okay you know the scriptures going into how seeing it is a, a righteous thing with the most high 
you know, to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you, man. All right, and matter of fact, I'm gonna I'm grab that just to make sure, you know, I spoke that correctly through the Spirit. Um, let's go to the book of uh, 2 Thessalonians 1 and 6. Yeah, I said it right, but I'll read it anyway. It says, Seeing it is a righteous thing with the Most High, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you, you see? And who is the one that, that troubles us, man? The so-called white man, the wicked, according to the Bible, man. Right? The one who got control of the earth, according to Job 9 to 24. You know, this whole system, his power structure, his grip of power in the earth is centered around oppressing, all right, the Lord's people, you know, and it, and if this devil could have it so, which we see the whole slogan dealing with Trump, you know, to make America great again, you know, America was quote unquote great when you, when, you know, the Israelites, when we were in uh, uh, complete and total bondage, you know, to where this devil can, you know, delete you and get away with it scot-free. Or, you know, it would, they wouldn't even bat an eye and there was no penalties against it. All right? You know, this devil wants us to be back into that chattel slavery, man. Okay? But we know that, you know, Esau, Edom, his time is up, man. All right? This, this devil, man, the Lord is about to do a number on this devil. You know, we see the Lord, you know, bringing great division, all right, here to Babylon the Great, which is beautiful, all right, because the scripture is going to, you know, if Satan be divided against himself as kingdom, cannot stand. So this place is about to crumble, it's about to fall, you're going to have civil war, all right? We see the, you know, America being drawn into to World War Three by way of the small hatters. All right, the least of the flock shall draw them out. And we know the purpose of why, all right? It's so that this place can be pelted, destroyed with thermonuclear missiles, man. All right? And once Esau Edom's kingdom, queendom, you know, is destroyed, you know, all the ones who survive, you know, along with the rest of the heathen nations that survive outside of Babylon the Great, you know, America, because this place is going to be wasted, man. Totally and utterly destroyed and never to be, be, be built back up again. You know, but for all the, the Edomites, starting with the wicked elite and the rest of the heathens that survive outside of Babylon the Great. Man, they're going headlong into captivity, man. All right. That's all the plan and the purposes of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And Why? For what you did to the Lord's people, man. Okay? Lord is the Lord is preparing you devils unto blood, man. Alright? Matter of fact, let me grab that, man. You know, while you know speaking through the spirit. Let's go to the book of Ezekiel, man. Okay. You got all you know, you got two thirds of the house of Israel in that spirit of thanksgiving. You know? And you know, after this so-called holiday this wicked holiday you know they're gonna be in the spirit of uh, uh christmas you know and all the other wicked holidays that follow thereafter man all right but you know for the elect okay we we don't come in that spirit we don't keep none of those wicked holidays here in america man okay you know we we put off you know, that's the ways of the world, man. That's how Esau Edom wants you to be in that mind, that dumb, docile, all right? A matter of fact, no, no, let me not say docile, all right? Because I believe docile means ready to learn. Esau Edom wants you in that ignorant, all right? Meaning not to know state of mind, man, okay? When you look up these origins of these wicked holidays, you're going to see the, 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 the wickedness of it, man. All right, the evil of... You know, keeping and coming in that energy of these wicked holidays, man. All right, so let me get what I quoted real quick, man. Uh, this, the book of Ezekiel, chapter 35. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 35, and verse 5. 
It says, because thou has had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord God, Yahweh, by Shemiah Shai, I will prepare thee unto blood. And thou, uh, it says, and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. So you see the Lord, you know, because of that everlasting, that perpetual hatred and the bloodshed of his people, all right, the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, Seminole Indians of today, all right, you know, by the way of his blessing, by the way, the sword, the so-called white man, he was blessed with the sword. When you read about it in Genesis, the 27th chapter, you know, the Lord is literally, you know, uh, prepping these devils, okay, in his kingdom for blood, man, all right, because the scripture is going to how, you know, he that killeth with the sword, he must be killed with the sword, man, okay, Revelation 13, 9 and 10, man, he that leads into captivity shall go into captivity, and he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword, here is the patience and the faith of the saints, man. To roughly paraphrase it, man. So this is what, you know, we as Israelites is waiting on, man. Recompense. Okay? And the Lord is about to recompense his people, man. Okay? Very soon, very near, man. All right? And for all the, the two-thirds that's in that spirit of keeping these wicked, you know, holidays, man, they're going to get caught up in the slaughter, man. They're going to get caught up in the slaughter that's prepared for Esau, Edom, man. All right? Because a lot of two-thirds, they don't want this kingdom to go. They don't want Babylon the Great to be destroyed. You know? You know, you got Israelites making covenants with this devil. 501c3s. Right? The ones that know that they're Israelites. All right? Not pushing the true doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Not pushing the names of Yahweh Bashim Shai. For all the Israelites join hand in hand with this devil, they're going to be destroyed with Babylon the Great, man. All right, on down to the, the, the wicked celebrities, you know, uh, the, the wicked uh, so-called leaders, okay, wicked leaders of Israel, all right, these wicked pastors as well. they all going to be destroyed with Babylon the Great, man, okay. You know, the Lord coming back to save the remnant, man, the elect, all right, the ones who have departed from this place. The Lord told us, man. Okay, to, to seek the old past, man. Let me see if I grab that real quick, man. And like I said, this is a uh, in transit, so just bear with me, man. Just you know, I was looking at this video and recorded it, you know, just dealing with the slaughter, you know, of our brothers, man. Our brothers of the northern kingdom, which you got Israelites that don't want to acknowledge that, that we got brothers from the northern kingdom. You got so-called black-only Israelites, man. When the scriptures say that the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together, okay. Let me let me grab that before I grab that. Uh, seek the old paths, man. All right, let's let's go to the book of Jeremiah real quick. You know, you got Israelites that's excluding our northern kingdom brothers, man. Okay, they felt this oppression. They felt. You know, the sword of this devil as well, man. Okay, they went, they're going through the curses as well. You know, Jeremiah 50 and 33. And it says, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah. The children of Israel is symbolizing the northern kingdom, man. Okay, the, the kingdom of Israel was split up into two parts. Okay, you got the northern kingdom, which is the so-called natives, no, so-called Seminole, so-called Hispanics, Latino tribes. All right, and you got the children of Judah. Okay, the northern kingdom is the children of Israel dealing with this verse, and the southern kingdom, the the, uh, the Judah, the Ju uh, the children of Judah. Excuse me. All right, which would be the so-called black, so-called African American, so-called. Uh, uh, Jamaicans, right? The so-called Haitians, man. Okay? We all was oppressed together. 
Okay, specifically here in Babylon, the great America, man, where the bulk of the Israelites will be, according to prophecy. It says, Thus said the Lord God, Salakis, thus said the Lord, Yahweh Shemal Shai of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together, and all that took them captives held them fast, which who took up cap who took us captives? Edom, so called white man. They refused to let them go. The so-called white man gonna let us, you know, walk away scot-free. All right, and to be sovereign and be independent. Okay, outside of his system, outside of his rule, man. It's gonna take Yahweh Shai to come and get us out of this captivity, man. Okay, you know, hey, dealing with the curses, man. All right, Deuteronomy twenty-eight and sixty-eight. It said that no man shall redeem you, man. All right. No man was going to buy us back. No man was going to get us out of this captivity. But we know one who will. The Redeemer himself, Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? Yahweh Shai paid the price for our sins by his blood. Okay? And Yahweh Shai is coming back through the power of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Once the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, gives the green light to redeem the elect. All right? Thus redeeming the house of Israel because through the loins of the elect, the two-thirds that will be destroyed here on this side will be brought back in the kingdom. All right? Because according to Romans 11 and 26, all Israel is going to be saved, man. Okay? But uh, reading, reading on Jeremiah 50 and 34, because we just read, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. The whole house of Israel, so-called black, so-called Hispanics, so-called Native Seminole Indians, so-called Latino, you know, were oppressed together. We all caught hell. We all under captivity, man. Okay, under the so-called white man. All right? And this white man, gonna, you know, Esau ain't going to let us go until the Lord come and get us, man. All right, read on. Verse 34, Jeremiah 50 and 34. Their Redeemer is strong. Okay? Yahweh Shai. All right? Which is through the power of Yahweh, okay? Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is coming to get us, man. It says, The Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai of hosts is his name. He shall thoroughly plead their cause. You see? Lord about to vindicate us, okay? He shall thoroughly plead their cause that he may give rest to the land and disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon. And that's when the Lord going to waste this place, man. Lord gonna totally and utterly waste this place, and this place gonna be a desert when the Lord is done with it, man. Okay, so let me get what I was about to get, you know, as it pertains to not keeping these wicked holidays, man. And rather coming back into your heritage, you got high holy days, you got solemn assemblies that you are to keep as Israelites, man. Okay, you know, uh, Jeremiah six and sixteen. It says, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, Stand ye in the ways, and see, and ask for the old paths, and where is the good way, which is returning back into the law, statutes, and commandments, and the high holy days, and the Sabbaths of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. All right, taking heed unto the instructions of the Lord. And it says, And walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, we will not walk therein. And that's the mindset of two-thirds. You can give them the knowledge. You can give them the understanding. All right? As it pertains to the origins of these wicked holidays and why you two, you know, uh, depart, right, mentally and spiritually from this world. All right? But two-thirds, they're going to continue to do what they want to do. They're going to continue to be wicked. All right, continue to, to hold fast into these wicked holidays. All right, because the only thing that two thirds gonna understand is the judgment of the Lord, man. All right, the, 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 the warning and the message, you know, coming through the mouths of his prophets is not enough for two thirds. They're gonna have to be destroyed with the wicked on this side. Okay, but as for the elect, man, we, we returning, man. We returning back to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, rehearsing the righteous acts to the best of our abilities. 
according to Judges 5 and 11, man. All right? And we pray and hope that the Lord, you know, will have mercy upon us, that we can be a part of that hopeful elect who will be redeemed, okay, here in these latter days, man, who, who will be redeemed from the destruction that is to come, man. Okay? So, <clears throat> I pray and hope that this is edifying through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. I'm going to end off by giving, you know, uh, by getting one more scripture and giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You know, I quoted it, but I want to read it. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 13, and verse 9. It says, If any man have an ear, let him hear. You know, if you're able to understand it through the spirit, Understand what's being spoken. It says, He that leadeth into captivity, the so called white man, led the Israelites, the so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans of today into captivity. All right? Shall go into captivity. Hey, it's going to, you know, come back upon their heads. All right? You know, they're going to go headlong into captivity once their kingdom is destroyed. And Israel has been set back into power, starting with Yahweh Shai and the hopeful elect. All right, the 144,000 on down to the great multitude. All right, it says, He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity, and he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. So that bloodshed that you shed of our people, so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans of today, the Israelites, all right, of the Bible, because that's who we are. Right, that bloodshed that you shed, hey, the only way it can be repaid, you know, we're pursuing back to what numbers 35 and 33. All right, you know, you, you got to shed the bloodshed of uh, you know the one who shed it, all right, because the land is polluted by the blood of the Israelites right about now. Okay, hey, we need your blood to eat them, okay, and that's all that's all through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Shema Shah, the Lord. All right, going to allow this to happen, man. Okay. It says, must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience. This is what we are long suffering for. All right. This is what we are long awaiting. Okay. It says, and the faith. This is what we believe. And this is what we know, man. We're going to see it, man, with our eyes. Okay. Even as we can envision it already through the spirit. We're going to see it in real time because the words of Yahweh Shemel Shai is faithful and true, man. All right. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints, of the Israelites. All right. So-called blacks, so-called Hispanics, so-called Native Americans of today start with the hopeful elect, man. This is what we waiting on, man. This is what we know is about to happen, man. The kingdom is about to be translated, you know, from one people to another. Woo. Let me get that through the spirit, man. Okay. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 10 and verse 8. It says, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches gotten by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. We about to get the kingdom, man. Okay? This devil done came and took a whole landmass, took our people, put us in captivity, took our identity. Okay? Hey, this devil about to give it all back. Acquired much riches, all right, off the bloodshed, the, the, the slavery, all right, the blood, sweat, and tears of Israel. This devil about to give it all back, man. Okay? Kingdom about to be translated from the so-called white man, all right, to the Israelites, man. Okay? And it's going to be through blood, man. Best believe it. I want to see if I quoted that, that numbers correctly. Numbers chapter uh, 35 and uh, 33. Yeah. It says, So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it defileth the land. And the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him of him that shed it. So, you know, this whole landmass of America, all right, is, is defiled, all right, by the blood of the saints, the Israelites. By the hand of this devil Esau Edom, the so-called white man. And the only way it could be cleansed is by, you know, the blood of the so-called white man. Because he's the one who shed the blood. Okay? So I did quote that correctly. Wanted to, you know, make sure I'm staying on point, man. 
okay? Sometimes you can get caught up in, in quoting a lot of things, man, all right? But, uh, but nonetheless, man, the Lord is about to translate the kingdom to Israel, man, because, you know, all the, the, the atrocities that this devil has done to his people. So I'm going to end it off on this, 2nd Edris, chapter 6, and verse 9. It says, for Esau, the so-called white man, is the end of the world, right? He's the end of this period of time or age to rule. This, this current age, all right, the fashions of this world is about to pass away, man, according to the scriptures, man. It says, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. And Jacob being the Israelites, man, all right, so-called black, so-called Hispanic, so-called Native Americans of today start with the Lord's elect. All right, starting with Yahweh Shai and the Lord's elect. Okay, the 144,000. All right, 12,000 men from each tribe of the house of Israel, the governing body. On down to the great multitude of men, women, and children who will be saved as well. All right, you know, we are the beginning, all right, of, you know, the end of Esau Edom's rulership. We are the beginning, all right, which, you know, hence, the beginning of it that follows, hence, you know, the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay, being established here on the earth. All right, so Lord Wilders is edifying through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, we don't celebrate Thanksgiving, man. All right, and this, this is why. Thanksgiving originally celebrated the 1637 massacre of the Pequo tribe. English and Dutch pilgrims surrounded and shot the Pequo natives. Women and children who huddled inside the long house. And I want to say through the spirit, you know, we a great millstone. We do, you know, say through the spirit. Now, if you go eat, all right, you know, it's nothing wicked about getting you a plate, man. All right, if you want to go see your family, it's nothing wicked about seeing your family because, you know, this just so happened to be the times to where you'll see family that you don't normally get to see throughout the year. So there's nothing wicked in that regard. We don't come in that energy. We don't celebrate and come in the spirit of these wicked holidays. I right, just got to say that, you know, for any newer believers out there. House were burnt alive. The rotting flesh could be... Thanksgiving originally celebrated the 1637 massacre of the Pequo tribe. English and Dutch pilgrims surrounded and shot the Pequo natives. Women and children who huddled inside the longhouse were burnt alive. The rotting flesh could be smelled a mile away. John Winthrop... The governor of the Massachusetts Bay Colony declared a day of thanksgiving after the slaughter. The remaining women and children were sold into slavery while the rest were murdered. Following a successful raid against the Pequo, the churches announced a second day of thanksgiving to celebrate victory over the Indian savages. Next Thanksgiving, when you gather with your loved ones to thank God for all your blessings, think about the thousands of natives that were murdered on these national holidays. Truth is...